While Microsoft claims that Windows 11 brings an improved experience for gamers, a lot of people have reported many issues with performance, leaving them dissatisfied. If you're looking to maximize your gaming performance, we'll show you 15 tips to optimize Windows 11 for gaming. Let's get started. When you start a game, you'll want as few processes running as possible. That includes those that start up when you boot your computer, which could interfere with gaming performance. To disable programs at startup, and for a majority of the tips coming up, we'll be using the Settings app. To open it, go to your taskbar, right-click the Start menu, and select Settings. Or you could use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I to open it. With it opened, go to Apps in the left pane, and select Startup. These are sorted in alphabetical order. To show those enabled at startup at the top, click the drop down next to sort by and select status. Now go through the list and disable all the apps and services you don't want to run at startup. When enabled, the game mode feature helps to focus resources on your game to reduce lag and improve frame rates. It's gotten quite a bit better over the years. To enable it, in the left pane, Go to Gaming. Click on Game Mode. Toggle the switch to turn it on. While we're here, Windows 11 now lets you easily change the graphics preference for your games to help boost performance on games with high system requirements or save power on games that don't need it. Under Related Settings, select Graphics. Find and click on the game in the list and select Options. We'll have the option to let Windows decide. If on a gaming PC, you'll also have the choice of power saving, which will use your onboard GPU. This is a good option to choose on a laptop for games that don't require a powerful graphics card to extend your battery life. And the other choice is high performance, which will use your higher powered discrete GPU for the games that need it. Choose the option that best fits the game you're playing. After you've done that, click on save. Also on the screen at the top, Click on the link for Change Default Graphics Settings. Here's a setting most of you have never seen. Turning on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, according to Microsoft, can help to reduce latency and improve performance. For the most part, it works pretty well, depending on the game. Many users have reported that with certain games, having this enabled has created GPU bottlenecks, causing their games to crash. Try disabling this feature on your games that have this issue to see if that fixes the problem. To avoid distractions that can interfere with your own personal gaming performance, it might be best to disable notifications while gaming. In System, go to Focus Assist. Here at the top, select Alarms Only. Let's scroll down. In the Automatic Rules section, turn on When I'm Playing a Game. Now those annoying notifications that pop up while you're playing will no longer distract you. If you have a system drive that's getting full, it can cause your PC to slow down and affect game performance. To remove unwanted programs and files you no longer need to create more disk space in system, go to storage. Wait for it to calculate each category. To remove programs you no longer use, click on Apps and Features. Go to each program that you want to get rid of, click the three dots to the right, and select Uninstall. To confirm that you want to remove it, click Uninstall again. On the previous screen, another category that can take up a good amount of space if not cleared out in a while is Temporary Files. Click into it. Check the box next to all that you want to eliminate. When you're done with that, at the top, click on Remove Files. Then click on Continue. While the built-in animation effects in Windows 11 do make it look a lot smoother, they can make your system slow down, and users with older hardware have reported their games launch slower as well. If you've experienced this, go to Accessibility in the left pane and select Visual Effects. Turn off Animation Effects. Doing this, you'll have improved performance, but the look of Windows 11 will not be as smooth as it once was. When Microsoft rolls out an update to their operating system, it's supposed to fix bugs, patch security flaws, and make your overall experience better. 
But sometimes, as many of you know, it makes it worse. So do this. In the left pane, go to Windows Update. If your games are running terribly on Windows 11, download and install the latest update with the hope and a prayer that it will fix your issues. If you don't see an update listed, click Check for Updates. On the other hand, if your games are running great with no problems, then you probably shouldn't take the risk of having a bugged out update messing up your system and gaming performance. You can even wait and install it if you want while the bugs get worked out with the latest update by going to Pause Update. You can pause it anywhere from one week up to five weeks. Some of today's games will require the ease of power plan, consuming more power to get the best performance. To change your power plan, here in Settings, type Power Plan into the search box. Select Choose a Power Plan. Click on Show Additional Plans. Your choices will vary. Microsoft recommends Balanced, but if you need more power, select High Performance. If you have a high-end PC, and if it's available, select Ultimate Performance. This will give you the best performance, while at the same time consuming more power. As with animation effects mentioned earlier, Windows 11 wants to have a nice visual appearance, but sometimes those visual effects get in the way, affecting gaming performance, especially when a graphical user interface is running in the background. To adjust the visual effects, type Performance into the search bar. Select Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. In the new box that appears, select Adjust for Best Performance. Just a warning, Windows will now look hideously ugly. If it bothers you how ugly it's become, repeat the steps and choose either Let Windows Choose What's Best for My Computer or Just for Best Appearance. Whatever you choose, click OK when you're done. Many people who play online multiplayer games will blame their computer or operating system when they experience lag. Oftentimes, it's just the domain name system, also known as DNS, provided by the internet service provider causing the latency. To change the DNS, in the left pane, click Network and Internet. Here at the top, select Properties. Where it says DNS Server Assignment, click on Edit. Select the dropdown and change it to Manual. Turn on IPv4. There are several free DNS servers available. A popular one we'll use in this example is by Cloudflare. Enter the following, 1.1.1.1, and then for alternate DNS, enter 1.0.0.1. When you're done with that, click on Save. You may need to experiment to find the best DNS for you. In the description of this video, we've put others you can try out as well. It's very important to keep the drivers for your graphics card updated to improve performance. On the manufacturer's websites, you can easily search for the drivers giving the necessary information. Another way of keeping your drivers updated is to install a program from the manufacturer. For example, on this computer with an NVIDIA graphics card, we have the GeForce Experience. It automatically lets us know when an update is available. Before starting your game, close out all unneeded programs. This should be obvious to most of you. You'll want your game to have the maximum amount of resources to avoid any bottlenecks that could increase lag and lower your FPS. If you don't use the in-game overlays with Steam, Discord, or one of the many others, you should disable them so they're not using system resources while gaming. For example, with Steam, in the upper left, click on Steam and select Settings. In the left pane, select In-game, here on the right, untick the box next to Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game, then click OK to exit. Corrupted system files could be a cause why your game crashes a lot or lags. To scan for and repair corrupted system files, use the system file checker that's built into Windows. For this, we'll use the command prompt. To open it, go to Search in the taskbar, type command prompt. Here on the right, select Run as Administrator. When it opens, type sfc space slash scan now. Then to run it, hit enter on your keyboard. It may take a while to complete. If it finds any corrupted files on your system, it will repair them. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If any of these tips help to improve your gaming experience on Windows 11, give it a thumbs up and share with others. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest Windows 11 videos and other tech-related stuff. 
here on Tech Gumbo.